Welcome everyone, here is how you lock the hidden photos in your iPhone. So when I tap on hidden here, look at this, enter your passcode to view this album. When I tap on view album, I must enter in the passcode in order to see all of the hidden stuff right here. Okay, so depending on the iOS version you have, the process will be slightly different. So together, let's open up the settings app. From here, we're going to find general. And then from here, we're going to find about. So if you're running iOS version 16.0 or later, keep on watching. If you're running software version or iOS version 15 or older, the process is different. I'll have a timestamp in the description to skip to. So on the iPhone running iOS 16.0 or newer, you're going to open up the home page settings. You're then going to scroll all the way down until you see where it says photos and then tap on this one. You're then going to scroll all the way down and you're going to see albums and you're going to see use passcode. Your passcode is required to view the hidden and recently deleted albums. By default, this toggle is off. Turn on the toggle and now what's going to happen is you will need to enter in the passcode you use to unlock the device that will be required in order to access the hidden photo album. If you're in a situation where you share your phone with let's say your siblings or you know, family members, uh, whatever, then I would recommend you just set their face up in Face ID or use their Touch ID and then don't tell them the passcode. If they already know the passcode, you must change the passcode on the device itself. Otherwise, well, you know, they're just going to be able to use it. All right. Now for iOS 15 and older, uh, we don't have the feature in iOS 16 and newer where we can lock the entire hidden photos album. Instead, we need to lock the entire photos app. So in order to do this, we need, first of all, the shortcuts app. This is a free app, which you can download from the app store. Once you have verified you have your shortcuts app, we're first going to open up the clock app. Yes, the clock app. From here, you're going to find where it says timer, and you're going to see when timer ends. Tap on this one, and you want to select stop playing. And then tap on set. Now, we're going to open up the shortcuts app. From here, you want to find where it says automation. So for most people, you should see this. If you don't see this, you will need to upgrade to the latest version of iOS. So let's tap on automation, create personal automation. And from here, we're going to scroll all the way down until we see app. Tap on app. You're going to see choose. Tap on choose and select the photos app. From here, just make sure is open is ticked and is closed is not ticked. If for whatever reason it's not ticked, just tap on it to tick. Then you're going to tap on next. You're then going to find add action. You're going to search for start timer. There we go. Start timer four. And so we just need to enter in this empty field one. And then we're going to change minutes to seconds. Then we're going to tap on next. And where it says ask before running, tap on this toggle, turn it off and tap on don't ask. From here, we're going to tap on done. So now every time you open up the photos app, after a second, it's going to lock you out. Okay, so you will need to enter in the face ID, touch ID or passcode in order to regain access. So I'm going to unlock my device off screen. And then we are brought to the photos app. It doesn't matter if this app is opened in the background, when you go back into it, every single time it will lock your device we need to enter in the authentication. It's not perfect, but what it means is if someone was trying to access your hidden photos, they would have to enter in a passcode because there is no way you're finding the hidden photos area within one second, but that's just not gonna happen. If you do not want to use this method, then you will have to upgrade to iOS 16. As in iOS 16, you have the native locking solution. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later, bye-bye.